The city of Budapest in Hungary is one of the most beautiful and most romantic travel destinations in Europe. Because of the compactness of the center, the abundance of attractions and the attractive price level, it's the perfect place for a city trip. This video shows 10 of the things that you should not miss when in Budapest. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any future videos. Budapest consists of two parts, split by the river Danube. Buda is the part where the castle and fisherman's bastion are located. The other side of the river, Pest, is where the parliament and the old city center are. Pest is a perfect place to walk around to enjoy the beautiful architecture, including the highlights such as the St. Stephen Basilica. Besides walking, you can also rent a public bike or an electric scooter to ride. If you're able to spend a bit more money and want to hear more about the history of the city, you can buy tickets to the Hop on Hop off bus. Line 1 of the Budapest subway is the oldest electric underground line of continental Europe. This metro was opened in 1896 with French Joseph I, Emperor of Austria and King of Hungary as one of the first passengers. By descending the single stairs to the subway stations, you get the feeling of walking back in time. In Budapest, thermal bathing is part of culture and when visiting the city you should not miss the opportunity to enjoy one of the nine relaxing medicinal bathhouses. There are many choices, including the most popular Seishenyi baths, which were built in 1913. This complex consists of both indoor and outdoor facilities. When visiting the bathhouse, be prepared to share it with many other tourists. It is more touristic and therefore more expensive than some of the more local places. Built around the same time as the Budapest underground is Fisherman's Bastion. A fairy tale like viewing terrace built to celebrate the thousandth birthday of Hungary. You can climb up the impressive stairs from the riverfront to Buda Hill. There you can overlook the Danube and the beautiful city of Budapest, including the breathtaking parliament building. Depending on your interests, visiting Buda Castle District can take from a couple of hours to a full day. On the Buda side of Sishenyi Chain Bridge you will find the ticket office of the Budapest Castle Hill Funicular. For 1400 forint you can buy a single ticket. In one and a half minutes, this 19th century funicular brings you to the top of Buda Hill. Enjoy the view there or visit the Buda Castle. In this royal palace you can find the Hungarian National Gallery and the Budapest Historical Museum. At the Presidential Palace you can enjoy the changing of the guard every full hour. A five minute walk through the old streets of Buda Hill district brings you to the picturesque Matthias Church. At the other side of Buda Hill district is the Hospital in the Rock. This hidden museum in the caverns under Buda Castle used to be a nuclear shelter and hospital, built in preparation of the Second World War. I don't have any footage to show as it is not allowed to film inside, but the 60 minute tour is definitely worth your time. After the fall of communism, many of the Soviet statues, monuments and plagues have been removed from the city and collected. Nowadays they are shown in the outdoor museum Memento Park, just outside of the city center. A perfect place to take a stroll and be amazed by the size of these monuments that were made purely for propaganda purposes. The most impressive building on the Pest side of the river is without any doubt the Hungarian Parliament building. It also happens to be the largest building of Hungary and one of the two tallest buildings of Budapest. The outside of the building is magnificent, but it is also possible to take a tour to take a look at the breathtaking interior. 
besides the Parliament Hall and spectacular staircase, the tour also shows you the Holy Crown of Hungary. Close to the Parliament building is a Holocaust memorial remembering the 20,000 Jews who were massacred by a fascist militia in the Second World War. They had to remove their shoes as they were valuable before they were shot at the edge of the Danube so that their bodies fell into the river. The memorial represents the shoes that were left behind after those inhumane actions. The city of Budapest is beautiful from the streets, but it is even better to enjoy it from the water. There are various companies offering boat tours on the Danube. It is especially worth it to do a sunset boat tour as the city is beautifully lit by night. A perfect way to finish a day in this amazing city in Central Europe. That concludes my list of 10 things to do in Budapest. But of course this is only a small selection of the possibilities. If I missed something, please let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Keep traveling and I will hopefully see you in the next video.